Welcome, Sagittarius, to your reading. This is the Sagittarian Goddess. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So I'm going to begin with the Oracle. And then I'm going to clarify their energy using the Tarot. You have the future. So the future is very important in the situation. It's very important. It's really good for you to like live in the now or be in the now Sagittarius. But I feel like your future could be a focus. You could be thinking about the future. What's to come? What's next? What's out there? Someone wants you to be a part of their future. Future is very significant. There could be something something happening tomorrow. Hmm. What's after future? Family. So you could be thinking about the future, dealing with your family, Sagittarius, a family situation. You could be building a family or someone wants to build a family with you or have a family with you in the future. Someone is expecting, someone is planning to conceive. Let's see, what happens after family? Community. Hmm. You could be helping families in the community. Maybe this is what your calling is, or you feel like your calling is to help people in some type of way. There could be a family coming together. Okay. Hmm. What happens after community? You could be moving into a new community. Something dealing with a community is very important in the future. Your community could change. Hmm. Substance. Oh, wow. Sagittarius, you bring substance to a community, to a family. Wow. I see, I see there's something something that you're doing in a community or you're wanting to do in a community. Let's see. What happens after substance? You have arrogant. Someone is very arrogant. Hmm. Someone's very arrogant in a community or in a family. What happens after arrogant? Hazel brown eyes. So your eyes could be very attractive, Sagittarius, or someone could have really beautiful eyes. They don't have to be hazel, but they can just have very beautiful eyes. Hmm. Someone doesn't want to admit something. I see arrogant here. Someone doesn't want to admit, admit to something. This person could could be very attractive in the physical but they have a hard time admitting to something or someone is getting caught up in something let's see in a community nothing like the last so something dealing with your future Sagittarius it's not going to be like a past situation okay this is going to be a different type of situation a different type of family. Hmm. There's a different future ahead for you. There's a better future. There's something that you're not doing anymore. There's something that you're not doing anymore moving forward. Let's see. What happens after nothing like the last? Make sure y'all drop me a comment down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And hit the thumbs up.
share this video and you have this too shall pass so there could be a difficult situation that you're dealing with regarding a family okay your future could be heavy on your mind or someone wants to have a future with with you mm. there's something that is being overcome in a family there is something that is being healed in the family something is being taken care of What's after this too shall pass? Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for Sage. It's all in your head, Sage. Something dealing with a community is all in your head. Hmm. There's an illusion happening in a community or in a family situation that's being broken. What's happen what happens after it's all in your head? Watch your mouth. Okay, Sagittarius, there's something that you may feel like you shouldn't say, and maybe you shouldn't say it. Hmm. Because it's dealing with how someone is coming off or what someone is, is wanting to do. You keeping this certain thing to yourself could really bring a blessing, bring in a blessing for you. You holding back on the situation. So you could be holding back on a situation. Something that you could be thinking about. There could be a conversation that you're wanting to have. Let's see. What happens after watch your mouth? A girlfriend. So this could be a feminine energy. Hmm. Girlfriend, boyfriend. I see someone could want to have a family. So this could be someone who's not married or not settled down or official with anyone. Let's see. What happens after girlfriend? Somebody's girlfriend has beautiful eyes. Somebody, somebody's boyfriend has beautiful eyes. If someone is having a hard time admitting something. This could be a friend as well. Let's see. Own it. Yeah, someone is having having a hard time admitting to something. Like I said, this this person is very attractive physically, but they they're having a hard time admitting to something. And um, whatever they're having a hard time admitting to, it's like clear to see. Like something is happening, and it's clear to see. Let's go ahead and get deeper into this message to see. Something in your future is going to be different. It's going to be better. I feel like this is what you're thinking about. This is what you're going towards. Let's see. What happens next? The sage. You got the seven of wands. So you're setting boundaries. You're protecting. Is it something that you're protecting? Something that you're passionate about? You have a king of pentacles. You could be uh, protecting yourself from a certain person. Let's see. Hmm. So, Sagittarius, there's a situation where you could be trying to balance something out with someone. And it's like... Things aren't progressing... A certain way but Sagittarius I feel like with this um nothing like the last this too shall pass it's all in your head I feel like it's something that you don't need to say I don't see the any swords hmm I feel like Sagittarius there's a situation where you could feel like you're coming up empty-handed like like something's just something is just not moving in a certain direction and then I'm seeing this King of Pentacles right beside, beside Temperance. I see like a lot of stability happening here. But as far as these cups, I just feel like there's something that's not working out. But I feel like you should just let it be. There's really nothing I see that you can do about a situation in, in the Temperance here with this all in your head. It's nothing you can really do about a situation. You just have to be in the moment, be in some type of... A moment i see the future hmm what happens after the five of cups 
what what happens after this disappointment yeah there's nothing that you can do with this tower um sagittarius you just have to let it be okay hmm you just have to let this situation be dealing with this tower because something isn't for you it's something that's happening in your community that you can't control something that's happening in your family that you cannot control or you cannot like you don't have any you can you can only do what sagittarius does here let's see what happens after the tower what does sagittarius need to know after the tower yeah, the nine of cups. Like, you would feel so much better, Sagittarius, if you just allow something to happen. Like, something isn't your duty, okay? In a community or in a family situation, something isn't your duty. Like, you don't have uh, some type of duty. You feel like you have some type of duty or some type of uh, say-so in a matter. But you really don't. And I feel like once you realize this, especially with watch your mouth, like you realize you don't have anything to do with a certain situation that's happening around you, you're going to feel so much better. What happens after the nine of cups? What does Sagittarius need to know after the nine of cups? There's happiness for you. Yeah. And healing. So there is definitely healing happening, like in a family situation, in a relationship and within yourself. There's something that you're going to have to set boundaries around and protect Sagittarius because it has a lot to do with you. And I feel like it has a lot to do with you protecting yourself from the chaos around you. There's some type of chaos happening around you. And I feel like there is a focus of family and community. Something about you being in a peaceful environment as well, Sag. Let's see. Let's get a little bit deeper into this message. It's something that it's something Sagittarius that you don't even have to like. It's something that you need to protect, but then it's something that you don't even have to like put all this energy into. If you just like sit with it for a moment the only uh air that we have is the star and that's healing so i feel like this has a lot to do with you thinking about something and not necessarily putting in action towards something because the only action that we have here is you putting in all this energy and pouring into your own cup but i feel like all you have to do is really pour into your own cup I feel like um, you know what to do as far as protection goes. Like you don't have to exert so much of your energy onto something because it's not your duty. Something is not your duty. I feel like Sagittarius, you're taking responsibility uh, for something that you don't you don't necessarily have to take responsibility for. You have justice at the bottom of the deck. I see you walking away from something, something that you envision. Let's see. So you have to walk away from something that you envision will happen. You're having to walk away from it. Yeah, you're having to walk away from it. And it could be difficult for you to walk away from something because you feel responsible for something. I see on it. You feel like you have to take responsibility for something. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. So you walking away from something gives you a new opportunity, uh, Sagittarius. Regardless of how difficult it is for you to walk away from something, it gives you new opportunities. Okay, legit opportunities. All right, what's next for Sag? Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for Sagittarius. Okay, you have the two of cups. So, Sagittarius, there could be a relationship, friendship, or connection, or meeting that you don't have to um, put so much energy into protecting. Like, you have to trust yourself and trust your decisions and trust, you know, that you know what's best for you in the moment. And I feel like you could be overexerting your energy in a certain way. And I also feel like there's somebody that you could be protecting yourself from for some of you as well like you're protecting you're trying to protect yourself from some type of heartbreak like uh or somebody is trying to do this with you like somebody is not letting you get close to them or, or not wanting you to get close to them or this could be you Sagittarius 
This could be an earth sign, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Let's see. What happens after the Two of Cups? What's happening after this meeting? There's a connection. It's being seems it seems to be blocked or be it's it's being blocked. There's a knight of swords who wants to communicate. So there's somebody who wants to talk to you. Someone is wanting to express themselves. And I also feel like there's someone who's saying things about you. Okay. Like they're running back and saying things about you, possibly to a partner, okay, or to a friend. Let's see. What happens after the Knight of Swords? You have the fool. See the fool coming right back out. So there's a new beginning for you, an opportunity for you to like let something go. I see this five of swords and I see something could be in your head dealing with a situation, uh, Sagittarius. Um, and it has a lot to do with you letting letting something go and releasing something, releasing some type of burden, uh, Sagittarius, that's been weighing on you, okay, or on a family situation. I feel like this is a situation that you need to try to just enjoy. It's something that you need to enjoy. And then the devil just flew out. So I feel like Sagittarius, with the devil being here in the five of cups and the fool, I feel like there is something that you feel like has had a hold of you. You could be connected to a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries. It's something that you felt chained to, that you felt responsible for. Dealing with the community, dealing with a family situation. It's something that you don't have to take responsibility for. It's something that you don't have to um let me say, let me let me not say responsibility. I guess I guess you could look at it that way, but I'm seeing it as a responsibility, but also it's like like this duty to to fulfill something that is not even for you or it's not or you you feel so rooted in it. Or you feel so connected to it that you feel like you must like do something, but you really don't have to. Like you have a choice to not do that. Like you have a choice. Like you can change your mind about the direction you want to go in. Okay. I feel like that could be difficult for you. Someone is wanting to come towards you. Okay. Something could there there could be something that could be resolved between you and somebody as well. Here with the two of cups. Someone could want you to drop down your guard and let them in to communicate with them. Okay, let's see. What happens after the devil? What happens after the devil for Sage? Okay, there's that seven of wands again. Yeah, it's something that you feel like you have to protect. And I feel like it has a lot to do with um how you're showing up here in, in a situation, Sagittarius, like how you're being viewed. Like you're being viewed, Sagittarius, as someone who is like protecting something at all costs. But you have you have the option to let something go, to allow something to just fall, okay? And not take the responsibility for it. You know, they say that Sagittarius doesn't like responsibility, but I feel like Sagittarius can sometimes take on too much responsibility dealing with other people, okay? And dealing with, you know, their surroundings, okay? Family, community, things like that. So I feel like there is something that you don't have to take responsibility for, uh, Sagittarius. Let's see. Because I see this nine of cups here with the seven of ones. There's a certain part, okay, there's a situation where you've been you've been protective of others or you've been protective of other things that you felt, you know, chained to, you know, like just stuck to throughout your life here, Sagittarius. But then I see this nine of cups, like you have the opportunity to free yourself from that, okay, and to not put so much responsibility on yourself, okay? I feel like you could be critical of yourself. You could be connected to a Virgo as well. You can have Virgo in your chart. What happens after the seven of wands? Okay, yeah, you have the seven of pentacles. So it's time for you to like just um, allow something to just be. Like he's using so much energy right here. This is action, okay? You're putting action, setting boundaries. You know, um, action speaks louder than words is what I'm hearing, Sagittarius. So I feel like you put in the action already and you have the seven of pentacles, okay? This is about you grounding that shit. You, this is about you grounding that energy. It's it's like you've already put in, in the work. So you don't necessarily have to do anything else. You don't have to do more than what you're, you're doing, what, more than what you're already doing. I feel like you could be adding things on, 
Okay, I see this tire moment. You could realize that you've been adding things onto your plate, okay? And as, as I'm looking around, I don't see anybody else near but you. I don't see anybody else near but you. So I feel like you've been fighting fighting a, a war all by yourself. You look behind you and there's not many people behind you is what I'm getting here with this nine of cups. So you could have realized, Sagittarius, that you were uh, more dedicated to something, okay? Than a, than a family, than a community. Okay, I do see a family and a community coming together. What happens after the star? You got the queen of wands. Yeah, I don't see anybody but you, uh, Sagittarius. You got the queen of wands, king of wands energy here, Sagittarius. So this is really about, about you, about you healing and about you letting something go. And I feel like there's somebody who wants to communicate with you, but I feel like... Um, I feel like there's a situation where you can have your guard up. Like, seriously, you can have your guard up against uh, some someone or against a particular energy, okay, to protect yourself from them. Um, this could be in communication. This could be verbally as well. I see the Knight of Swords. There's someone who wants to talk to you. I want to get some hidden truth on this, uh, this Knight of Swords because they really want to talk and they want to talk about a connection, okay? They want to talk about you and them rekindling something. So this could be in family. This could be friendship. This could be in love, okay? And I see the King of Pentacles. So it could also be in work as well. And I see the future family community. So this could be um, something dealing with uh, your stability, Sagittarius. Let's see. Let's get some hidden truth for this Knight of Swords. I can't stop thinking about you. So, Sagittarius, this is someone that thinks about you a lot, okay? Um... They think about you a lot. This person can sometimes feel like a fool. Somebody feels like a damn fool when it comes to you. I see the fool here with the Knight of Swords. Someone feels like a fool sometimes. Let's see. You came closer than anyone. So this is somebody, Sagittarius. They're, you're the closest person to them, okay? Whoever this is, you're the closest person to them, or this is what they feel. They feel like you're the closest person to them. I see the devil, the fool. So this person could feel very uh, attracted to you, very connected to you. Let's see. Let's get another one for this Knight of Swords. You were the best thing in my life. So, uh, Sagittarius, there's somebody here who feels like you changed your life. Um, you being in their presence, Sag, brings balance to them in some in some type of way, okay? This person wants a connection. There's nothing wrong with wanting a connection with someone here. Somebody is really like wanting to connect, wanting to talk about the connection, wanting to explore the connection, wanting a new beginning in the connection. So this could be somebody new or this could be a past person that you're already connected to. Okay. Somebody is wanting to let you know how they feel. This person has not been able to stop thinking about you. Um, you're the closest person to them. You know, you could know more about them than anybody else on the planet. Okay, Sagittarius. All right, let's get some signs. Yeah, someone definitely wants to have a family or a future. Let's see. You have Aquarius. Libra. Taurus. Scorpio. Pisces. Pisces. So there could be an Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces. Very significant in this message. Yeah, there could be some type of relationship involved, some type of work involved in this. I do see someone coming together, a community, family, relationship coming together. Someone is mending something or discussing something. You have education with the number 12. Something dealing with education. Maybe you're thinking about expanding your education. You could be learning something new, reading a lot. What happens after education? Submission. So there's something that you need to learn. There's something that you should commit to in learning, okay? This is going to benefit you. I see substance. So this could benefit you in the community, okay? And then you have burden of, of tears. 
So this is uh, something that is very healing and you have respect. Okay. Someone respects something about you. Then you have happiness. Okay. The numbers 12, 30, 21, 26, and six could be significant. I see that you could have shed some tears. I see the five of cups here. This is this could have something to do with a community with this Aquarius energy. Hmm. Your pain has been displayed in some type of way with this burden of tears. And I see you're choosing to be happy in the situation. This nine of cups. Yeah, that's a choice that you need to make concerning your happiness, Sagittarius. Something doesn't make you happy anymore is what I'm seeing. Something no longer is making you happy. Something that you, you, you felt attached to isn't making you happy anymore. And it's something dealing with your happiness. It's, this is about showing yourself respect. Your family and community respects you. Somebody respects you. Let's get one more for the spiritual message. Your happiness is very important. And there is a free message for you with the number 39. Dealing with your happiness, Sagittarius. All right, let's get some love messages. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. You have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So family is important. Future and community is very, very important here. And it's something about healing. And I feel like with you being here with the fool, there's something that you're healing. Wow, you're about to do something that you've never done before. There's something that you're thinking about doing that you have, you've you never done before. And it has something to do with playfulness. It, ha it has a lot to do with you exploring. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So someone wants to have fun with you. Someone wants to um, be light and, and lighthearted with you. Someone wants to joke around with you. Okay, so there could be something serious happening, uh, Sagittarius. And I see the seven of ones twice. So there could be something quite serious that you feel is happening, okay, that you need to put a lot of your um, energy into. But there's a, a calling for you, Sagittarius, to just lighten your load. Just take a rest and lighten your load, Sag, with playfulness. So there could be a lot of playfulness coming in in your relationship. I do feel like something is being healed in a relationship or family situation. So trust could be a theme and trust could be being healed. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. So something is calling for you to have faith in it. Yeah, because I feel like with the seven of ones, twice, two of cups, like there is a connection or multiple connections here. Sagittarius that you don't trust okay you don't trust and I feel like it's gonna be what the fuck is gonna be it's gonna be what it's gonna be like when it's all said and done you're not gonna have to really do anything because who who whoever is against you is going to reveal themselves okay you don't have to put all this energy into trying to protect yourself from every little thing is what I'm seeing here with the nine of cups there comes a time when you must uh, let let shit be Okay, what happens after trust? You have new love. It says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this could definitely be dealing with someone new. You allow someone new to enter your space. Okay, Sagittarius, because I feel like you're not going for that shit for a lot of y'all. Y'all just not going for that. Okay, um, at all. And maybe you feel like it's not the right time. You know, it's a time and a place for everything. But I feel like at some point, you're going to get tired of this. You're going to get tired of, you know, having to, you know, put your guard up and, you know, do this and do that and not really enjoy, you know, your labor, not really enjoy your life, not even, not really enjoy the moment that you're in. Okay, Sagittarius. And I feel like this is the message is coming through something about you enjoying the moment that you're in. Okay. Because I feel like you have a lot, you're getting a lot of respect in the situation. Something dealing with how you change, like you change something. What happens after new love? Okay, you have love yourself first, okay? It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this is about you respecting yourself, Sagittarius. Respect yourself. Like you don't have to, you don't have to be in a certain energy here. 
Yeah, you don't have to be in a certain energy. I feel like you've already done that for a season, okay? I'm getting, what, five, six months, six years, okay? You've been in this, you've been in this period of, like, being on guard, okay? It's time for you to, hell, relax. It's time for you to enjoy the moment. It's time for you to allow new love in if, if that's what you seek because they ain't gonna get in past this shit, okay? I feel like you have requirements, requirements that uh must be met. But at the same time, I feel like shit can't, don't nobody qualify for this. And I feel like that's not going to get you to, you know, this nine of cups because you're steadily exerting more energy into fighting against something than letting something be. And with you being a Sagittarius, that goes against your optimism. Okay. Your optimistic spirit. Let's get another one. So you respecting yourself it's, is you loving yourself first. It says it is safe for you to love Sagittarius. Something feels scary or something feels like it's a big risk to you. But really, it's all in your head. Something is in your head. If somebody ain't shit... They gonna be they not gonna be shit either way it go. Whether you're whether you doing this or not, you know what I'm saying? Whether you doing this or not, they still gonna they still gonna reveal themselves. This tower still gonna come out. Okay, so the, the best thing that you could do for yourself, Sagittarius, is just relax. It says it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. <laughs> Sagittarius, you're definitely worth it, is what I'm getting. You're worth all that love. Okay, and I feel like first you have to give it to yourself by giving yourself permission to say shit. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Or, you know what I'm saying? This is my time to rest or this is my time to smile. This is my time to be proud, uh, to be grateful in this moment and enjoy your in and, and enjoy the moment. Mm, okay. <laughs> Let's get one for the ten of wands. We got the ten of wands. And the Ace of Pentacles over here with hazel brown eyes and, and own it. Sagittarius, you can have beautiful, mesmerizing eyes. Okay, there's something that you need to own. I feel like you're owning your journey here with the Ten of Wands to the Ace of Pentacles. You're definitely owning your journey. You're walking that walk. Okay, and you're going directly to um, an opportunity. Okay, someone could be offering you an opportunity or you could be giving an opportunity to someone. Okay, you're. I feel like you're giving someone something as well. Let's see. What why is the ten of wands here? Oh, you got the nine of one knight of wands. Okay. So this has been a, a a long journey for you, Sagittarius, but I feel like you have not stopped, okay? I feel like you're pushing through whatever it is that you're dealing with. Okay, and I feel like with this uh this ten of wands, knight of wands, although something has taken a while, something is worth it. Something is gonna be worth it. Why is the ace of pentacles here for Sag? Oh, <laughs> Okay, you have the Empress, the Three of Pentacles, and the Star. Okay, so there's an opportunity to heal like a broken home, a relationship, um, connection with a family member, or with, with yourself, Sagittarius. You have the Empress, the Three of Pentacles, and the Star for this Ace of Pentacles. So there's an opportunity for healing, okay? There's an opportunity for healing to take place, especially if it's dealing with a family, some cosmic insight tell me more about the situation you have give it time so whatever this is dealing with this healing this is going to take time and patience okay this is something that you cannot rush okay this is something that is going to require you to be patient okay and allow things to take place observe and watch and listen let's see let's get another you have a date night. There definitely could be a date night or something exciting happening in a connection or something being mended, okay? A date night could be just what you and someone needs, okay? And this doesn't necessarily have to be with a lover. It could be with a family member or friend as well. But it says, get ready to be wine and dine. There is some type of fun that needs to take place regarding a broken situation or a situation that, that seems a little off here. Something seems a little off. Tell me more about this. You have give it time, date night. Okay, there could be someone who's asking you out. Okay, Sagittarius. And um, maybe it's been a while since someone asked you out. Okay, or maybe it's been a while since you've been on a date. Okay, and then you have a confession. 
okay wow someone has to tell you something okay and you have this star so someone wants to tell you something regarding some type of healing or regarding um you being their wish fulfillment okay you being their wish fulfillment and i feel like the com some type of community can see this family can see this okay those around you and the future is very important okay so this could be a uh, future a future for a lot of you this could be happening now but this could also be something that's happening in the future okay with the star and confession so there's a confession that you are someone's wish fulfillment oh wow let's see then you have they are so mad somebody is steadily mad this could be somebody in a family situation or a community in your community it says you deserve so much more so somebody is mad about something and you deserve more than whatever this is. Whatever situation this is, you deserve better than this. It says fake accounts. Someone also feels like you deserve, you deserve more than something. I love you. Okay, there is somebody who has created a fake account and it's because they feel like they love you and they want to keep up with you. So I'm getting, this is a past person coming through here. There's a past person. I see the seven of uh, ones with the two of cups. I also feel like there's somebody you could be keeping your guard up against, Sagittarius. Okay, you have, you needed to free yourself. There was something that you needed to free yourself from. They are so mad, they. So there's a group of people. I'm getting family, community, even some type of friend group. They are so mad. You needed to free yourself. Wow. You could have realized somebody's intentions towards you, Sagittarius. Let's see. I wanted to crush your self-esteem. You deserve so much more. Yeah, that was like a group of people. Or there's a group of people... Um. I'm getting like two or three, two or more people who wanted to like crush your self-esteem, um, dealing with a situation. Like they did something to kind of try to, they tried, like they, I don't feel like they did. They could have, but I feel like they definitely tried to like say something or do something to make you feel less than possibly in the family or community. Okay. It says, let it all burn with fake accounts. Somebody is getting rid of their fake accounts. Somebody feels like these fake accounts isn't isn't helping them at all. So they're getting they're getting rid of them. Rainbow after the storm, I love you. Okay, somebody could want to make amends with you, okay, and make something better. Okay, there could be an apology as well. Let's see. You have a secret lover. You needed to free yourself from a secret lover, or there's someone who who is secretly loving you or secretly in love with you. They are so mad. And this person could be mad about something. Maybe you're with someone else. It says, be happy. It's a test. Oh, wow. So it says, I wanted to crush your self-esteem. Be happy. It was a test. So somebody tried. I didn't feel like somebody tried to. If they did, I'm sorry. But I do feel like somebody tried to and you caught it. Like you caught it. Like just without even looking like you you caught what was happening or what was being done it was some type of manipulation something was said or something was done to kind of try to make you feel less than in the situation and i see this star so you could you could be a performer of some kind let's see you have pretty eyes okay look you got hazel brown eyes and pretty eyes so that's very significant someone with pretty pretty eyes or pretty hazel brown eyes could be testing you hmm you have real fake okay somebody is being real fake somebody could be wanting somebody could be acting as if something is fine but it's not we're here with rainbow after the storm somebody's acting like something is fine but it's not let's see you have round two they are so mad. Like somebody got mad again about something for like the second, third, fourth, fifth time. Like somebody steady getting mad about the same thing. 
It says everybody happy. You deserve so much more. And I see family and community with everybody happy. And I feel like Sagittarius, you could have felt like you were responsible for a community, a family, or for everybody's happiness in the situation. And I feel like there's a situation where you forgot about your own happiness or you put your happiness to the side. And it's time for you to pick it back up. It's time for you to pick it back up and give yourself the love and care that you deserve to have. It says your voice, fake accounts. Somebody could be listening to your voice from a fake account, okay? Or trying to get in contact with you through a fake account. It says good for nothing, okay? There's somebody who said that they love you and they're good for nothing or you feel like they're good for nothing. You feel like they could have emotionally manipulated you in a certain situation. Let's see. You have unhealthy. So there was some, some type of situation that was unhealthy, Sagittarius, that you needed to free yourself from. And it could have took something to happen two times for you to realize this. Let's see. Okay. And you have a toxic, you have toxic friends. So there were toxic friends who wanted to crush your self-esteem, uh, Sagittarius. Okay. And I feel like you wanted everyone to be happy in the situation. And then it says, I'm too shy to come forward. Let it all burn. And you have fake accounts. Oh, there could be a secret admirer under a fake account. They're shy about coming towards you. And with these seven of wands here, shit, Sagittarius, it looks like they might be scared to come towards you, Sagittarius. You might hit them with that one. It says, finally something real. Rainbow after the storm, finally something real. So something beautiful is happening after a difficult situation. It says, I know you hate me, a secret lover. Oh, a secret lover or, or someone who, who still has some type of feelings for you, okay? They know you hate them. So they done did something for them to feel this way. For someone to, to feel like, you know, you, you don't like them for a certain reason, they must have felt like you like they've done something, okay? Let's see. Because someone feels like you hate their guts and you may not even hate them. You may love them from a distance. Who knows with this two of cups, okay? I Like, I love you. Look, I love you. But, I mean, you got to stay over there. Like, you got to stay over there on this side. Okay, and you have laughter is the best medicine. Yes, yeah, it's, some, it's something dealing with your happiness, dealing with your smile, Sagittarius. I feel like there's a confession that is going to make you happy. You're going to be happy to hear about something. Because I just see you sitting there listening. Like somebody's telling you something too. And it's making you very happy. This hurts pretty eyes. There's somebody here with pretty eyes. And I feel like they're... They're not admitting to something or they're they're doing more harm than good in the situation. I am in love. Somebody real fake is in love. This hurts. I am in love. Sagittarius, you could be in love. You could feel like someone is real fake. It's being real fake towards you. In love. And I see why these seven of wounds are here with this two of cups. You have educated. That's your second education card. You have educated with round two. So you could be learning something again, okay? Or learning something new, learning something for a, for a second time, refreshing your memory on something. There's something that you need to refresh your memory on, Sagittarius. Everybody happy. You make them feel comfortable. You make someone feel really comfortable, Sagittarius. Someone is learning a lot from you. You're learning a lot from somebody. If you're in a relationship, you want to be able to learn from them. Okay, it says you look damn good, Sagittarius, your voice. Sagittarius, you have a really nice voice and you look good. You make them feel comfortable with your voice. I see this confession. Hmm, make the change good for nothing. Somebody is changing something about themselves. This could be you as well. Somebody is changing something about themselves. Finally, something is, is good. Something is is transformed here i see nothing like the last with this too shall pass you have a jealous family member there's a, a family member that you have Sagittarius, and you have family here too that is jealous of you they could be jealous of what you know about a situation i see educated and toxic friends you can't please everyone there's someone that you cannot please in a friend situation 
okay? Toxic friend, jealous family member. That's somebody that you just can't please. And I feel like, Sagittarius, you taking responsibility for making everybody happy in the situation. And you realize you don't have to do that. Something is not your responsibility. Something is not your responsibility to do, okay? And that's pleasing everyone because you can't do it. It says, get some fresh air. I'm too shy to come forward, okay? Somebody could be walking up to you, uh, Sagittarius, or introducing themselves here. Well, I'm too shy to come forward. We get some fresh air. You could meet this person outside. You could be meeting someone outside. And I see date night. So there could be a date night. You have Taurus. Finally, something real Taurus. So there could be a marriage or some type of commitment involved. You have mental health. I know you hate me. Mental health, secret lover. Oh, wow. So someone feels like you hate them because they had a secret lover, uh, Sagittarius. And this is really on their, on their mind, on their mental, Sagittarius. Fighting against you, laughter is the best medicine, Sagittarius. So as you as you choose to be more optimistic, as you choose to show gratitude and give yourself the self-care and the self-love that you deserve, someone is fighting against you. And I really do feel like this is a test, okay? I feel like this is going to be a test for you, okay? And then you have happy family with this hurts, okay? So there could have been a situation, Sagittarius, where you thought... That your family would come together and maybe they did not, okay? There could be something dealing with the family member that is significant. They've done this before. You could be traveling with a family member as well or with a lover. Somebody real fake has done this before or done something before. It says watching and judging. Try new recipes. So someone's watching you and judging you. This could be a jealous family member. Okay, or this could be a, a past lover, ex-lover, secret lover. Someone's judging your every move. Someone's taking notes and watching your every move. It says they are in their head and can't get out. And then you have, uh, it's all in your head. So Sagittarius, you could be in your head and somebody else is in their head too about a situation at the same time. Don't even worry about the situation. There's a situation that you don't need to worry about, Sagittarius. I'm telling you, there's a situation that doesn't require your attention. It doesn't need your input. It's something about loving yourself first in the future, okay? And being grateful for the now. It's something that doesn't require your attention or your energy. It says, owning up to my mistakes. Wow. Someone is wanting to uh, make amends with you. Someone is, is apologizing about something that they've done. Someone is wanting to apologize about something that they've done. Okay. I see a confession. Something makes you happy. Something uh, provides relief. It says, I'm watching you. They need to mind their business body language so someone feels like somebody needs to stay out of y'all's business okay other people need to stay out of your business someone is reading your body language or you're reading someone's body language seeing your face would be nice yes yeah, someone wants to see you and spend time with you a fake friend could want to see your face so there could be a fake friend who's watching you okay you could have watched a friend be fake, Sagittarius, okay? And it says, I really do care. I just act strange. So there's somebody here who's who's acting differently than how they feel. And I feel like somebody definitely wants to let you know how they feel. It says too many people involved. They need to mind their business. So there's a lot of people involved in your business, or there could be a lot of people who don't know, you know, what they're talking about dealing with you. It says, I started a fight on purpose. Okay, there's somebody here could be in a group of people that started a fight with you on purpose to see how you would react. It says, leaving out the details. Someone's only told a half truth in a situation. This could be a fake friend or friend. And then you have skeletons. Yeah, someone is hiding something. And I feel like something is going to come to the light or some, something has already come to the light. Let's see. Give me more for skeletons. Looking at you stank. Somebody uh, secretly don't like you. Okay, Sagittarius. Crazy lover. Okay. So those are coming out for these skeletons. So this person is a crazy lover. They're connected to a crazy lover. And someone is looking at you stank. Someone's lover is looking at you stank. Sagittarius. All right. 
Okay, you have, we are so happy you chose to love yourself instead, okay? You're suddenly getting these messages about loving yourself, okay? About your nine of cups. This is so important, especially when you've been protecting everything and everyone else. It's time for you to love yourself, all right? It's time for you to care for yourself and give yourself that TLC, okay? It says this requires prayer, not people, all right? This requires you, Sagittarius, to uh, take care of yourself. This requires you to spend time alone. This requires you to not necessarily isolate yourself, but to make sure that the moments that you spend with yourself, that you are caring for yourself and your well-being here with this nine of cups, okay? And then you have the queen of wands. You are royalty, Sagittarius. Try again later. There's something that you try and maybe it didn't work out. There's a conversation you tried to have. Maybe it didn't go, go well. It's something that you need to just try later. Right now, it's not the time. Shadow work, okay? The time, it's time for you to do some shadow work, okay? It could be, it could be time for you to spend some time alone, okay? Spend quality time with yourself. Although you may have other things going on, Sagittarius, spend quality time with yourself. So the time that you spend with yourself should be quality, okay? It, sh it, could it should be dedicated to you caring for yourself, okay? Loving yourself and really honoring yourself, Sagittarius. They know they hurt you. There's somebody here who knows that they hurt you. They know they fucked up. They know they was wrong. They know they want shit in the situation, Sagittarius. I feel like somebody wants to tell you about something or express something to you okay somebody is expressing this to you okay trust that everything is coming together this is the second uh card about trust this is about you trusting your actions this is about you not exerting so much energy and just trusting in, in your intuition trusting that you will do the right thing trust trusting yourself at the end of the day Okay, and you have family healing again, Sagittarius. Try again later, family healing. Okay, that there's something, there's something, Sagittarius, that you're going to have to come back to dealing with a family situation or dealing with healing in a family or community. The church is going to have to come back to later because right now the focus is for you to, to care for yourself. And then you have stand up for yourself with shadow work. So there's something that you do need to protect and there's something that you do need to put your energy into, Sagittarius. It has a lot to do with with you protecting the work that you've done within yourself, not necessarily protecting yourself from others. Cause I feel like you're putting a lot of energy into protecting yourself from others, uh, Sagittarius, when you really should be just pouring into yourself. All right, Sagittarius. Thank y'all so, so much. This was a beautiful, beautiful reading. I hope you guys enjoyed the messages that came through very powerful reading today. This is the Sagittarian goddess and I wish y'all the very best of luck in this situation. And I'll see y'all in the next video.